What's up, YouTube? This is James coming back at you with another informative video. Uh, this is a story that came out of South Carolina here in a, a school, actually. Uh, when I saw this story, it infuriated me. You know what I mean? I, I'm telling you, I'm boiled over with anger. You know, just reading about this situation right here to tell you the truth, you know. Uh, I'm very fucking tired of these teachers, these schools, what they're taunting, the disrespect and the abuse of our children in this country, you see. Uh, instead of teaching our children their self-worth, you know, instead of teaching them that a lot of their ancestors invented Practically every fucking thing in this country, that's of value, okay? The traffic stop, the the, tra the traffic light that you you stop at was invented by a black man, okay? Uh, the penicillin that you would take for an infection, you understand, which is an antibiotic, was invented by a black man, you see? The very freezer or refrigerator that you store your food in to keep it uh, cold was invented by a black man, okay? Right down to the V8 in your car. As a matter of fact, your entire automobile invented by a black man, see? The straightening comb that was invented by a black woman. See, the list goes on and on and on. But instead, these fucking lowlifes who invented nothing but hate, racism, envy, the satanic spirit that they have, that's basically all the racists ever bring to the people in this country. The invaders. Instead of teaching them, our children, self-worth, they want to mock the children have, uh, on the sly, making them uh, participate in demeaning uh, events like pig and cotton. Under various names like, you know, talking about some Great Depression. They ain't had nothing to do with no damn Great Depression. See, Great Depression has something to do with shit. Barely fucking eating and going to soup kitchens and shit. Okay? Standing in fucking lines, you understand? I mean, to go and fucking bail some damn hay for 12 hours one day making a fucking penny or a dime or some shit. That was Great Depression shit, all right? See? But enough said of my digression. Let's get into the story. It says parents at one South Carolina school are outraged by a recent video that shows fifth grader students being forced to pick cotton while singing a slave song during a class field trip. See, in the cell phone footage, which was sent to parents by a teacher, the kids fill sacks with cotton at the historic Carroll School, chanting lyrics like, I like it when you fill the sack. I like when you don't talk back. Make money for me. Mom Jessica Blanchard, whose 10-year-old son, Jamari, attends Ebenezer Avenue Elementary in Rock Hill, told Fox 46 that she she's livid over the incident okay parents the thing is, is this make known to your children when they go to these schools if these teachers you know like try to get them to do little demeaning shit like this do not participate in it if they call it's it, it, some kind of racial slur you know, hey, 
you have permission to get up and, and, and walk out of that class and call your parent. You see? Matter of fact, if you, you know what I'm saying, leave the school. Just, just teach your kids not to participate and not to be a victim. See? And also, if one of those teachers put their hands on you, you have your permission. They have your permission to fight back. See? And get to the nearest phone to call a relative or parent, a parent or whatever. Don't put up with, don't take this kind of shit. This shit, the, the taunting, you know what I mean? The torment and this shit. This shit is old, man. This, 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 this is some bullshit. Every time you turn around now, it's some kind of story in the media about what's happening to our children in these damn American ass schools. See? Senator Elizabeth Warren has proposed a universal child care program that would be paid for by a tax on wealthy Americans. Would you support such a policy? Yes, the government needs to do more to help parents. No, a massive federal program will be a mess. Yes, the wealthy should. What is this? This got nothing. Oh, well, let me just finish reading it. Yes. The wealthy should step up. No taxing twice is economically unstable. Thanks for your feedback. Okay. Whatever the hell all that meant. Anyway. I'm African American and my ancestors picked cotton. Why would I want my son to pick cotton and think he's, it's fun? She said. I think it's making a mockery of slavery, a mockery of what our people went through. It is. That's just what it is. That's what it was all for in the first place. See? Teach your kids not to participate in this kind of stuff. Let's see if we can get this to play. See, that's some bullshit. You talking about some money, money, money with that ragged ass drum. He would get knocked upside his damn head. See, got these kids participating in shit they unaware of, don't know what's going on. Now, when they get older and they, when they find out what, it, what it's really all about and what our ancestors suffered through, you know, I'm sure a lot of them going to be mad as hell. See, because I the fact the reason why I know, because I'm still mad to this day that they tricked us into fucking worshiping that piece of shit ass flag. You see? I'm still angry about that. Hey, back to the story. In the same interview, Jamari said that he and his classmates thought it was all just part of a game. It was a contest, he told the news station. However, Oh, whoever picked the most, or the least rather, amount of cotton had to hold a big sack called Big Mama. Listen to this. The Rock Hill School District released a, settle, a statement explaining that the cotton picking was meant to be a teachable moment for students. A part of the fifth grade curriculum, students study the Great Depression time period. And this field trip helps students make real life connections to this era in American history. The district wrote, according to Blanchard, the school's system's chief academic and accountability officer, Dr. John Jones, called her to apologize. And while the students, excuse me, people, and while she understand that the exercise was well intentioned, she urges the district to do better. The mom told Fox 46, I support the Carroll School. I support everything else about it. 
but I don't understand at the end why do you make it a point to pick Cotton and sing those songs? I think it's misguided and maybe ignorance on their part. No, it's not ignorance on their part. They know what the hell they're doing. You know, the, her son said he thought it was a contest. He didn't know what he was engaging in. It was all about tormenting and taunting. That's what it was. Mocking. That's all it was. This is what they like to do. But y'all tell me what y'all think about this story. Uh, you know, like I said, so you know, I get a little heated around the collar. It's, it's hard for me to keep my, my focus, you know, and uh, I get ahead of myself or what have you. But yeah, this is, this is just all bullshit. You know, parents, I stress, please teach your children the ways of these fucking degenerates. Teach them, teach them to know the difference. Uh, like, share, comment, and subscribe. And this is James, and I'm out. Peace.